Bonjour! Welcome back to the Limit of Adhesion and it's round three of Prime 9. My name's Gareth and joining me once again in commentary is Jules. Jules, how are you doing? Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year to you too, yeah. A first ever visit for the LOA to the Circuit de Nevers de Magnicor, or Magnicor as it's normally called. Great track, uh, one for our, us old school F1 fans uh, such as yourself, Jules. Uh, what do you make of it? Good track? Bad track? Yeah, it's, I used to watch it in F1, yeah. Um, enjoyed the racing, man. Uh, it's fast flying track. Yeah, and some uh, super chicanes around here as well, so it should be a, a pretty exciting race. We saw Alex Murphy on top of the standings. There's the Club 1500 standings with Jao Tomi on top, ahead of Steve Pepper and Philip Miles. Pretty tight there between the three of them, though. They're shaping up to be a great little scrap, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's a... Uh... I think Tommy has got the the pace, but the consistency is lacking a bit. So it's, yeah, it's good. Yeah, and it's Intergalactic Bureau of Auto Racing on top of the team standings ahead of Stupid Gurry and Wizards Black Sapphire. Most lots no glory up in fourth, and Risky Racing Blue in fifth. Minardi Sin Sport down in sixth. So I wonder if that Risky Racing one is a sign of. Uh, of uh, Mr. Greening's decision to not focus so much on Prime this season. Could well be. Anyway, yeah. Qualifying results then. It's Alex Murphy on pole ahead of Rob Miller. Tour Malaren in third. Michael Messenger in fourth. And we got Alfonso Aguirre, Marin Hugovin, Philip Miles. Great score for him up in P7. And top of the clubbers, Ben Chowcraft, then Nico Martel, Gavin Kelly, Oliver Ettridge, David Lugakeki, Stephen Maxwell, Gareth Winslow, James Pepper, Carlos Navarro, Rich Meesters, Chris White, Chris Forrester, James Renwick, Jao Tomey, Steve Pepper, Russell Bright, right, right down there, and Dan Rice with no time. So Philip Miles is miles ahead of the rest of the club in this field, isn't he? Well, yeah, he's got ten, nine or ten cars between him and the next clubber, which is Rich yeah. Meesters. So nice advantage there, a bit of a cushion. Sure is, yeah. So here we are with the cars on the grid and we're ready to go. We're looking at Alex Murphy on our left and Rob Miller on our right. Ah, uh, indeed. Standings are a bit not sure what they're doing at the moment. They're having a little bit of a wonky woo, aren't they? They are. And Meesters oh. is in the pits, actually. So he qualified second, so he's throwing a penalty. Yeah. So it's even bigger of a gap for Mr. Miles. Let's see how we get on then as we charge through turn one, a very, very fast corner, as is turn two before they head into the... Well, the, even this corner is very rapid as well, the right-hander, but it's a very, very long corner onto the first long straight of the track. Looks like everyone's safely through. And we're on the run down to the hairpin. Now, I've forgotten all the corner names, but they're all named after other tracks, aren't they? Oh, look at this. We've got some <laughs> three-way action here. Malarin. Is that? Yeah, it is. Malarin is all the way up. Oh, we've had a collision as well. That's Malarin now facing the wrong way from... He was up to second, and he's now gone round. I saw the Afonso Aguila, the triple six car. He's still going, and I wonder if he was involved in that. He's now in second place. Miller's lost out, though, isn't he? Down to fourth. Yeah, looked like it. I was going to say, who... Malarin was challenging for the lead there. He did all of his practice for this track in the prototypes. Yeah. <laughs> he was, yeah, and he wasn't happy with the car around there. I think he just bought it and got on track, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so Alex Murphy then down to seventh place. So he was involved in that collision as well. We've got uh, lots of cars out of position then. I think that's Murphy and, and the lead, actually. It's just the, oh, it? the, the leaderboard's not showing him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's showing Hugovin, but not Murphy. But don't worry, Murphy, you are in the lead. He was showing him as his being seventh a minute ago, but yeah. <laughs> Here we are then with Jao Tomi challenging Winslade in No Slots No Glory. There they are. And that's Steve Pepper just behind him as well. So two of those cars. Are talking about his replay of that incident then. Yeah, Aguirre went into the back of Malarin and uh, Miller looked up on the outside. But yeah, like he got away with it though. That's our Club 1500 pulse to Philip Miles reversing there, so he got involved, unfortunately. It's a big like shame. Four different, yeah, huge shame for him. It's now Tome in the lead. Yeah, but Pepper is right behind him. Keeping up. Well, Philip Miles coming up on the LOA podcast as well. It's our most recent guest. 
Tomo shaping up on Winslow. He's alongside him. Look, and there's uh, Pepper trying to follow him through as well. Pepper's going for the contact. outside, but yeah, looked like there was a bit of contact or maybe a lock up there. Yeah, and there's Russell Bright and Winslow's teammate. He's fought his way up from the back of the grid. Bit of side by side into the chicane. That's Chowcraft and Kelly. Nice bit of action there. Chris White just behind them in the McLaren. So he's in ninth place. Looking good. Oh, this is tight stuff as we head up to the chicane. That's White making a move on Kelly. And he's gone through. <laughs> What's happened to Winslade there? He's just completely missed the corner. It's like some bit of sausage there, wasn't it? Yeah, I think he got a sausage and a bit of airborne. Oh, Tome, and that's Pepper challenging to his inside. Pepper looking to take the lead of Club 1500 then as they come down to the final two corners. Really tricky to get the braking right for this downhill one. What a move by Steve Pepper. He's through. Nice move there. We've got Chris Forrester as well, trying to take advantage as well. And yeah. the Martini car, that's Dan Rice, who didn't quite set a time in quality, so he's done a great job getting up there. That's right. Yeah. No, that was great. And uh, he's already put out a bit of a gap, so Tommy's going to have to now try and reel him back in. I think I know where Murphy is. He's hiding behind Shellcraft on the uh, on the leaderboard there. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you thought he was in seven. Well, he did say he was seventh on the screen. It's a bit weird. Oh, but, Miller yeah, went the wide there, were... locked up. So. Yeah, good spot there. There he is, Murphy. Says he's seventh, yeah. but yeah, he's definitely in the lead. <laughs> That's that one should be a <laughs> seven, should be a one, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, sleeping. Leaderboard. Leaderboard's too, still hung over from New Year. Yeah, go home, SDK, you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big lock up there for one of the McLarets. That's another super tight corner, tricky corner, that 180 corner. It's literally just called 180, that's why I can remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that's Messenger Round. Yeah. And Ettridge taking avoiding action. Oh, and... Uh, that's <laughs> McLaren. That McLaren. Yeah, that's why they were slow there. Yeah, and there comes Steve Pfeffer trying to take advantage and get ahead. Tommy's gone off. Tommy's gone off, yeah. Big lock up for him. Gets it stay back on the road. This gives him a bit of breathing space to Pepper. Yeah. That's what I love about Messenger, though. Look, he makes a mistake and then he's just straight on the back of the cars he's lost out to and try and pass them. He's, uh, he's no nonsense, isn't he? He is indeed. Oh, that's... Martel. Okay, Martel dropping it, dropping it. That's a big shame. So we go there, Messenger challenging on Pepper as they go through the flat out first two corners. Messenger was saying after practice that this was his favourite sector of the track. And you can see he's put that practice to good work there. He has indeed. Steve want to try and latch on to him and drag him along. He's yeah. got Tomei a couple of seconds behind him now. Oh, oh that's who covering Merrin. Yeah. Is he second? Is he fourth? Who can tell? <laughs> I think he's sick. Yeah. <laughs> Murphy's hiding behind Kelly at the moment. He is. And Chowcroft now being challenged by Ettridge. Ollie's having a great season so far, isn't he? Wins in TCR and USF so far. Certainly scoring. Oh. Oh, right round. And he's tagged Pepper. Pepper's into the back. Oh, no. That's tragic. It's our leader. Oh, dear. Still Pepper, yeah, leading Club 1500. And just no fault of his own there. Such a shame. A little bit too much rear end. Rear end yeah. That. But it's so easy to do. That spin by... Um, by Russell there. I mean, it, yeah, we've all done it into that corner. Here he is, just yeah. Oh, a couple of wheels on the grass. There. Yeah, a bit hot. Two wheels of grass yeah. and poof. Yeah, that corner just pay, uh, really bites you if you get it wrong. Although it's quite easy to run wide, except when you've got a car on your outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't imagine Pepper's very happy right now. No. 
So according to the top board, Winslow's now in the lead. <laughs> I don't think he is after that spin earlier on. In fact, he's 20th on the tower. Yeah, that's very drunk. Yeah. <laughs> There's that Dan Rice in the monster car there. So where are the battles? Rice and Maybe. Renwick are fighting here. For the lead, actually, because although Tommy was leading a minute ago, he's not anymore. No, he's lost the lead to Renwick. Like so this say, is one, two, Rice. three, yeah. Wow, this is a good stuff then. Yeah, so the Club 1500 podium all together on track. Back on board with Ben Chowcroft. There's Chris Forrester just in front of us. And there's Ben. No, oh, Ben's made a mistake because he's now down to 10 and behind the two McLarets. Nice to see both McLarets still running strong and heading for a good point. Oh, oh uh, as I say that. that <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoa. someone else. That's, That's a a quite a second place. Yeah, taking a voice from Camel. Which one was it? Is that James? <laughs> well, last we saw, Steve was on his roof, so... Yes, true. Did he get back and get out again? There are multiple camels, obviously. Okay, one pepper's in the pits, and one pepper is 23rd, so it could have been either of them. <laughs> <laughs> and Meesters is still running there in 15th. So he's actually made his way up from the back, because obviously he started from the pits. Yeah, he's having a great drive, isn't he? He's rich. Looking forwards, good. So, Alex Murphy is currently leading, although it's still saying seven from the standings, ahead of Miller and Aguirre. Ettridge in fourth. Hugovin's made up two places since his spin then. Oh, sorry, one place, back up to fifth. Oh, we're side-by-side -side action here between Ettridge and Aguirre, and Hugovin's round again. Oh, and collects Kelly. Clumsy, clumsy. That's a big shame. Oh, they get going again. Yeah. Our season six and season five champions? Uh, season four? Four, four, four and, and six. Four and six. <laughs> <laughs> did, did Lime win an F3 in the end? He middle? did, in the middle, yeah. yeah. Back to the battle then between Ettridge and Aguirre. This is the battle for second and third. Well, Aguirre late on the brakes up the inside. Oh, he was mega late. Should just, gonna... Yeah, he's not said... He's not rolled over yet. No. Oh, a little kiss of wheels there. I did. <laughs> Interesting chicane, that last one. Just like quite how aggressive you can be through there. Yeah, you have to really chuck it over those curbs. I yeah, hope it doesn't spin. Your wrists. <laughs> so there's Chris Forrester then. He's now... Well, let's check him on. Yeah, he's showing just 12 at the moment. So Chris White now up in sixth place. Oh! And... Is that Forrester falling out again? It is. Gets it back going though. Only one place out of the points. They're going to go and side by side here. Yeah. No, I think it's better of it. That that should get. Well, we saw what happened earlier when uh, <laughs> when it got a bit too close between cars and uh, with Chris White and uh, and Kelly and then Winslow taking the taking flight over the sausage. So. <laughs> That's what yeah. happens when it goes wrong, I think. Winslow wasn't on the track, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think he took avoiding action. <laughs> Here we go, then. That's uh, Rich Meesters in the Cool Camel number 64. He's just behind Philip Miles. So Tomei is now back in the lead of Club 1500. And he's disappeared up the road a bit. So as you said before, he's had the pace, but not the consistency. 
That's right. Uh, Meesters has made his way up. He's now knocking on the door of the podium. So that's uh, who give in putting one on white. Well, Rich is, Rich is driving has just gone to another level this season, though, really. I think he's had a couple of incidents and things, but in general, his, his pace has gone up his, uh, and his consistency, and, he, and he's reaping the rewards with all of the Club 1500 wins and things he's been picking up. So, yeah, great to see. Well, he seems to enjoy the F4 and the LMP3. Yeah. Here's Afonso Aguirre then, and Oli Ettridge doing battle once again down to the hairpin. And Aguirre stays ahead. Oh, oh, Ettridge trying to do the up and under. Oh, his risky teammate's going to get him. Yeah, he's not going to have, is he not going to be able to defend that in the run to the chicane? No, he is he? he's going to try. Oh, oh cut he away. Cut away there. Looks like he has held him off. Here we are then, into 180. And Hugovin, despite his two spins, is still in P6. This is a, just shows the pace of these guys compared to a lot of the rest of the field, unfortunately. There's a bit of a chasm forming. There is. But then new track, obviously, does it does tend to separate. This is Maxwell and White, or Maxwell and Forrester? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they didn't need to go into the wall. I <laughs> know oh, it wasn't White, it was Forrester. So. Yeah, it's Forrester, yeah. Chris White's still showing in. Oh, I'm confused now because White's now showing in P6. I guess he must be seventh because it's still not showing. I don't know. No, Mur Murphy's hiding on Shellcraft yeah. now. Look, you can see the band is slightly darker. And you oh, can yeah. see 303 under the 8. <laughs> 308, he is. Or oh, he'll tell you off for that if you get his number wrong. <laughs> Have you seen his smart new lid for karting? It's very nice. I did. What's this? Oh, Martel coming into the pit lane. <laughs> Who's that with one wheel off? Well, oh, that's Malaren. <laughs> that's Mal <laughs> <laughs> Malaren's adventures continue then. Oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> no. Alright, yeah, so Martel drops it. And. Oh, Tour with nowhere to go. Big shame for him. So we're into the final minute of this race. Uh, so I imagine it might be this lap plus one. We're on board with Messenger challenging against Etridge. You see, he just had to hesitate on the way in to give Etridge the room to make it into. He's gone round the outside! <laughs> well, that's, that's nuts. Well, he tried. Yeah. Almost, almost, almost. It's not over it? yet, is it? It's not over yet. No. Oh, it's definitely single file into this one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> There's Chowcraft, and White is closing in on Chowcraft, isn't he? Looks to be, yeah. He's doing, he's doing some great work back there. Too many instant points in the drive through for Nico Martel, who's uh, race going from bad to worse, unfortunately. So he must be heading on to the white flag lap. Yeah, I imagine this is it. So he's got one lap to do it here. Yeah, I can see the white flag waving in the background there. Two of them, actually. Nice. Winslade's still apparently the leader. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. Side by side action then down to the chicane and another tour, tour is the next drive through man but you can see he's stuck in the pits. Messenger to the outside. Oh, that was so close to contact. Just put his car exactly where he needed to to stop him getting past. He did, yeah. Great driving by these two once again. Now his messenger going to try it round the outside like he did the lap before. No, he's not quite there this time. It didn't work, so he's thinking of something else maybe. I don't know. Well, the only place to really do it is after the sec. The well, I suppose after the chicane and then that sharp right hander before the final few corners. Not easy places though. 
Well, Murphy is crossing the line now, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's won. Congratulations to Two. Alex Murphy for yet another win in Prime. Sorry, Minus we didn't see line. any of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> too dominant. Can't even see him on the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're still on it. Whoa, this is tight stuff between these two. But I think, yeah, he's done it. There's the line there. Etridge holding off for P4. And Messenger in fifth. P5, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> and Meester's coming home in second behind Tommy. Well done to Rich Meester's from the back of the grid. Yeah, and pit lane to Tennessee. second. That is a great start. Great Cracking drive. Drive. His so fortunes are not so good for Maxwell or the Peppers or Malari or Forrest. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just confirm that it wasn't Winslade who won. Yep. Yeah, so Murphy. Alex Murphy, not Winslade, picks up the win uh, ahead of Rob Miller and Alfonso Aguirre. Oliver Ettridge, Michael Messenger, Ben Chowcroft, Chris White, great drive from him. Marin Hugovin in eighth. Jao Tomi picks up the win for Club 1500 against the Rich Meesters. Carlos Navarro was in 11th, Gavin Kelly was in 12th, it was Dan Rice rounding out the podium for the clubbers, and then Philip Miles in 14th place overall. Dawe Glugokeki comes home in 15th ahead of Winslade and Bright, not a good day in the office for no slots, no glory, and 18th place for Nico Martel after that collision we saw with Tor in the final corners. And there's confirmation then of the Club 1500 result with Jao Tomi, Rich Meesters, Dan Rice, Philip Miles, James Renwick and Steve Pepper. Sorry, did I say Phil, uh, Philip was on the podium with Dan? But yeah, just <laughs> Don't forget to start your day with launch control, by the way. <laughs> Coming up next on the channel then, we've got the second race from MagniCore with the reverse grid top eight so don't forget to check that one out and also come say hi on all of our socials please do give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and uh, why not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we'll send Jules around to give you a tickle <laughs> that's, that's a threat <laughs> yeah we'll see you next time bye Jules bye